Well, for more on cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology, I'm joined by Dan Noves in Chicago. Dan is the CEO of Current, an incentivized blockchain-enabled streaming ecosystem. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Now, a lot of people are used to hearing Bitcoin and blockchain in the same breath, but that's just one use for the technology. So what are some of the biggest misperceptions that people have about blockchain? Yeah, I mean, that, that's exactly right. You know, a lot of people think that, you know, they, they might not even actually even know what the word blockchain is. You know, they think that cryptocurrency is pretty much Bitcoin. And I think now people are maybe seeing things like, you know, Ether or Ripple or whomever, um, you know, and they think that basically cryptocurrency is just what they might see on Coinbase. Uh, but in fact, there's actually, you know, the, the technology uh, blockchain and all the these amazing, you know, there's a lot of infrastructure being built around the blockchain industry today. Um, and then you have these amazing projects being created and, and current is just an example of something that uh, is in the uses blockchain, you know, for a uh, you know public facing consumer application. So what is it that blockchain allows users and companies to do better or differently than the systems currently in place? Yeah, so I think the the most interesting use cases for blockchain is actually just you know goes back to transparency. Um, you know, today a lot of things that we do um, you know involve an intermediary. Um, so you know, one of the most interesting aspects of blockchain is the fact that we have this trustless way of you know providing transactions uh, and 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 the attribution aspect of of those transactions without those centralized um, you know intermediaries in between them. Now, we're still relatively early in blockchain's use, but what are some of the wider uses for blockchain that we should look out for in the future? Yeah, so, um, you know, th there's a variety. I mean, there's so many. Again, I think that we'll see a lot of them in the, in the financial sector and through these, like, trust, a lot of things that involve trust or transactions. Um, one of the things that, you know, related to current, for example, is that, you know, we believe that, you know, the next Net Netflixes, Facebooks, a lot of these media companies um, will have these tokenized ecosystems. Um, so today, if you look at, you know, how Facebook um, and, and is structured, you know, it has its shareholders and it has its users. Um, both of them have very different wants, right? You know, the shareholders want profits, the users want the best experience. Um, when you can tokenize your ecosystem um, and everyone owns this token, then basically you align interests. Um, and that's what we're kind of seeing here. So we believe that the future of, of all media consumption will actually have these type of models. And the next Netflix and Facebooks of the world will have this incentive-based media ecosystem. So that's just one example among many of, uh, you know, how you can use essentially tokenization uh, within your ecosystem to align those interests between all parties. So in terms of the companies and the countries that are really leading the way in terms of blockchain usage, who's ahead of the game? Uh, I mean, you see, there, there's a lot of amazing companies coming out of, uh, you know, China, Japan, uh, Korea, you know, United States as well. Um, you know, there's a, there's just a lot of uh, any any market that has a lot of stuff in cryptocurrencies obviously has a lot of great companies with it. Um, I think what you're seeing now, you know, with the market itself is that you know it's it's getting so um, it's getting into the mainstream, and obviously, you know, with that there are bad actors. Um, so you know, government regulation is bound to happen. Um, I, I think that you know as we move forward, uh, that's very healthy for the ecosystem. You know, because there are inherent bad things that could happen if there is no government regulation around it. And regulators are essentially still trying to wrap their head around this, but they are showing some cautious optimism about blockchain's potential. When do you mm -hmm. think we can expect to see a wider adoption of blockchain? Uh, so uh, the way I look at it today is that, you know, we're essentially in the infrastructure phase, right? If you look at when the Internet, you know, was, was like, you know, in 97, uh, we had we didn't really know you know what was kind of happening and a lot of these mainstream applications hadn't been come out yet so I think that that's where we're at you know and if you look at kind of the dot com boom there was a lot of companies that were just you know coming out of nowhere with necessarily you know the the industry wasn't ready I think what we'll start seeing you know mainstream adoption of these things is when you know we go past that infrastructure phase um, there's clear guidelines of what the regulation is because right now we're kind of yeah we're in this kind of gray area of like yeah this you can can do this or can't do this and um, you know and then we'll start seeing more consumer facing products and how this impacts our lives on an everyday basis I mean for us specifically you know we're one of the first consumer facing um, you know blockchain based uh, ecosystems out there but at the same time, that's not what we say really to our audience. You know, people, our, our messaging is very simple, like get paid to play the media you love. Um, so for example, in that example, you know, we don't mention blockchain, but I think that over time, people kind of see how this can be impacted of their lives and, and, and their daily, you know, their daily using, usage of, of services. Well, thank you so much for your insights. Dan Noves, their CEO at Current.